What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are seeing Melmetal. I think this is actually the fourth time that we've seen Mel Melmetal. I think the last time we saw Melmetal in the team, we said it was the first time, but obviously that was a lie because I went back and watched some Wi-Fi battles. I got a Melmetal on, on my thumbnail, so obviously false, and I apologize about that. But we are against Felix, who's bringing a really cool team. I love the Sylveon. I love the OU Needle King in this generation. I love the... The Milotic. I love everything about his team, to be honest. Um, potential leads. I He doesn't have a dedicated lead, from what I can tell, at least. Um, I think what I want to do is start Reggie Alecki, just in case he starts uh, the Dragonite. I really hate for him to set up a Dragon Dance, so I'd rather go in uh, Reggie Alecki, hit a Bolt Switch, and get out of there. If he decides to go Needle King, um, I will bring in, um, of course, fearing the Thunderbolt, but I will bring in the boy Skarmory. And he got to see Bologna. I think it's no, that's not Bologna, Jim, isn't it? Bologna. Is it Bologna? Bologna? I, I don't know. But we're in my home turf. Maybe yours too, but who knows? Baloo, the a Snorlax comes out. That is cool. That is pretty awesome. Um, I don't feel comfortable staying against this thing at all. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to bolt switch out of here. And then I'm going to go into Skarmory, set up some stealth rocks. Because this thing has access to high horse high horsepower, obviously the belly drum, which we might have taken taken him out of range of, but I really should fear the belly drum. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go throw in case he wants to go for the belly drum. Um, yeah, we go out to throw. Throw comes out and he goes stockpile actually. So that's actually pretty good for us because we can honestly just circle throw him out of here. Very, very good. Um, I have been thinking about switching my throw up and just instead of running bulk up circle throw, maybe an assault vest would be okay. Rest is okay with me, my friend. You can stockpile all you want. I got a circle throw for you. Part of me wishes I had storm throw. That that would be really cool because it's a crit. It's a guaranteed crit. It's super effective against a Snorlax. So that'd be really cool in this situation here. But boom, it does absolutely nothing. I'm, and I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Here comes the Melmetal. That's cool too. I'm gonna hit you with a circle throw also. Maybe a bulk up. Uh, circle throw. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I apologize about that. A couple things I want to talk about to you guys is Merry Christmas. Um, I'm recording this on the 20, on the 23rd, but I do decide to record my videos a little bit before time so I can upload them so you guys can watch them into a consistently basis. But Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a beautiful Christmas with your family. Enjoyed your times. I resist this. I don't resist it. And that's not a two-hit KO, but it's uh it's a lot of damage. But also, Merry Christmas Eve and Happy New Year. I just want to say thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for taking Did I flinch? We're just gonna circle throw and call it a day. If you want to hit me with the double iron bash, you hit me with the double. This is this has. I don't think this is banded. I really don't think that's banded damage. But it's unfortunate that I lost the throw. Uh, but seriously, before I choose my Pokemon, thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys for subscribing to my videos. Thank you guys for the relationships that we built with each other. I'm talking to you, Falling. I'm talking to you, uh, Jane and Selmo. Ren, we just had a deep conversation. I'm not going to tell you guys about it, but we had a really good conversation. And Ren is one of my closest friends now. Um, I think I mentioned Jane and Tomo and Kevin, um, aka Espo's Propaganda. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for the love. And thank you, viewer, for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm seriously thankful. Thank you for your time. Um, so we got Melmetal out. We need to, we need to, we need to do this. Um, Basculin superpower is tempting. Very tempting. I'm going to lose some Pokemon to this Melmetal. I already know it. I already know it. Um, I hate it. I hate it. I hate admitting uh, admitting that, but maybe flip turn Skarmory is a good play, right? Like, that is a good play because Skarmory is my defensive wall. If we wanted me with the double iron bash, I think I still resist steel, right? I think so. I think so. Flip turn is going to be choice band of damage with adaptability. It does damage not as much as I wanted to, unfortunately, but that's why we're going to go out into the Skarmory. In case you want to hit me with the double iron bash, I resist that. That'll be Rocky Helmet damage to you. And I'm going to take this opportunity to set up the Stealth Rock because Darkest Lariat. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that, though. It didn't do a lot to me, anyways. I'm going to go ahead and take the time to hit up the Stealth Rock. If you want to switch, go ahead and switch. Maybe you're running Thunder Punch. I don't know. Thunder Punch on this Melmetal would be very scary. 
I'd be so upset too. But it would put it into range to knock it out. I think at least. That's not a shiny Mel Metal, is it? I don't think so. Look how beautiful this Pokemon is though. The metal looks absolutely stainless. It looks stainless. It looks like stainless steel. Switch Raws, okay. That's good at least because now, uh, see, Selvion comes out, which has the Mystic Fire. Has the Mystical Fire and it gets the uh, Burning Jealousy. So that's not good. I'm gonna switch out of here. I'm predicting the fire type attack and I really want to go out into <laughs> Tyrantrum would be nice. Remember that sweep? I know it's a spoiler alert, but um, I really want to go Basculin and Flip Turn again. Maybe Waterfall. Yeah, I think we're gonna go into our physical attacker Basculin. We're gonna predict the fire type attack. Go into Basculin who resists the fire type attack, obviously. And then Calm Mind. That I wasn't expecting. That I was not expecting, but I'm gonna be confident and I'm gonna say that a choice banded waterfall is going to knock this thing out At least uh, in my opinion if you want to go my Lodic you go my Lodic I really don't care about that because I, I got Reggie Alecki as an answer to that This is gonna be a tough battle Really tough battle. You don't see a Basculin and a Sylveon every day <laughs> In the same battlefields, that's cool That is awesome So I wonder what he's gonna do here because Maybe switch no he's staying in what are you gonna do call mind again? Hyper voice that's gonna knock us out Basculin is a frail Pokemon That's okay. I, I hate that but it's okay Reggie like Skarmory, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bolt switch out of there And then bring in the Skarmory for the spikes Oh, we're getting what we're getting molly what by this team It's not surprising to me given that I'm bringing a basket into the table That's not surprising to me at all. Okay Sylveon gets knocked out and I think I bring in the So I want to bring in the tyrantrum also But the melmetal does scare me because it's really bulky. I'm gonna bring a tyrantrum If he decides to go into my Lodic, My answer is Reggie Alecky I'm bringing frail Pokemon to the table unfortunately if he decides to go needle King I'm going to go ahead and hit him with an earthquake um, Anything else? I think I'm free to go for a dragon dance Except for the Milotic. Milotic is a very bulky Pokemon, but like I said if he goes Milotic, I go into uh, Balu comes out with okay though. So this is the um, What's your name Snorlax? I'm just gonna head smash and hope for the best <laughs> I don't have a str I forgot about the Snorlax. I don't have a Pokemon that can deal with the Snorlax, unfortunately. Other than Tyrantrum, please knock this out. It's not gonna knock out. Are you gonna go rest? Recycle. What is this? Chestoberry? If I recall, I think I saw the Chestoberry. I did. Okay. Maybe a head smash can knock out from this range. Come on. Come on, Tyrantrum. You didn't let me down last time. Don't let me down now, please. Yes. Okay. Knock it out, my boy. Knock it out, big boy. Yes! That's why you run. It's a crit. Someone do calcs for me and let me know if that critical hit mattered. I don't I'm gonna say it didn't. But that was huge. That that if that mattered, that was huge. <laughs> if that mattered, that was really, really huge. Um, if it brings in the Mel Metal, we go Earthquake. Maybe we go Skarmory and then Tyrantrum and Earthquake. That's a that's a better play. That's a way better play. Um, does Tyrantrum outspeed Dragonite? Maybe it's a speed tie. Let me let me double check real quick Okay, so I don't remember. I think Dragonite has a speed tier of 90, right? Dragonite if I'm wrong, I'm really rusty as far as um, knowing my speed tiers go. So Dragonite 80 That was gonna be my first guess and then Tyrantrum Tyrantrum has a speed tier of 80 71 so I'm slower than it so uh, the only way I can knock that thing out is via Skarmory is my answer to Reggie Alecki is the only thing do I really want to go out into Skarmory and spikes part of me really does and then Reggie I think that's what we're gonna do I'm playing kind of blindly right now because uh, I'm not thinking about what Pokemon he has in the back I know he has the Nidoking, King he has the Dragonite which, which is very scary to me Aqua Ring, not expecting that. 
I should have I should have gotten to Reggie Alecki. That would have been a free switch right there. Free switch. Um I'm pretty sure Reggie Alecki can knock this thing out with a Thunder Cage though. I'm one I'm I'm almost confident. I'm almost confident. We're gonna spikes here. Because of um We're just gonna spikes. Scald doesn't knock out. I don't think so at least. That's a lot of damage. We can set up Oh my goodness. A burn. I got burned. Okay. So the reason I'm setting these these things up is because Needle King is threatening to me. Needle King is threatening to me, so I I really shouldn't stay into Skarmory. That should not be the play. Um I think instead. Ah, oh, Skarmory, why did I go into you? I didn't think this through all the way. Because Needle King. Maybe I'm okay. Let's say I go into Regieleki next. He goes into Needle King. I go Tyrantrum. Maybe I'm okay. I really don't want to take a Scald, though. I think we set up another layer of spikes. We need to try to capitalize on the opportunity. Set up these spikes. And I got knocked out. That was... I think that was a high roll. Or the other one was a low roll. One or the other. I'm gonna go Regieleki here. Um, I'm not gonna overpredict because last time we did that... We, we got paid. We, we, we took a lot of damage. I think, you know what? We got to play aggressive. And I think we expanded force here. Let's try that out. Come on, please switch out. Every time I do this, I get bit in the butt. And every time um, in Generation 6 I did this, it paid off all the time. And I don't know why. I'm just older and I just don't think things through. And that's why these things happen. The battle is going to fall on this, essentially. It's going to be dependent on this play. If I if I read this play, that's big boy play right there. Okay, so I do outspeed, so okay. Woo! I'm very scared. Switch it. Yes! Yes! Go into Needle King, my boy! That has to be the Needle King right there. There you go. I'm scarfed. I'm scarfed. So maybe an expanding force is going to out um it's going to knock you out from here. If you decide to go out into the Mel Metal, I don't got an answer, unfortunately. But I, th I still think we shot we uh, expanding force here. That was big boy play right there. Okay, maybe we can still win this. We can still win this. I'm gonna hit you with the expanding force. I outspeed you because I'm scarfed. I think even without the scarf, if we're both scarfed, I still outspeed no matter what. I, I think. I think, I think, I think. Oh man, this battle. And this Kyrex music isn't helping. It's not helping me. It all depends on what he's gonna do next. He's Dynamaxing. We're gonna play the Dynamax game then. We're gonna play the Dynamax game. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That's a bummer. That upsets me a little bit. That's okay though, because very cool Needle King cry. I hope it. I don't think it's gonna be enough to knock it out though. Spanning force. Nope. I don't think so. They're gonna hit me with the phantasm. Maybe you knock out. You don't knock me out, and you just wasted your Dynamax. That's kind of huge. That's kind of huge. And your sheer force. I'm an expanding force. I should I sh I'm gonna outspeed here and now it's three on three well three on two because I'm still technically behind Reggie like my win con I just got to get rid of the Mel metal if you go Mel metal next it's perfect for me that's perfect for me that is perfect for me the good news is that I break Dragon Knight's uh I break Dragon Knight's multi-scale Vanessa comes out which I'm okay with because I got rid of I got rid of one of the biggest threats in this team, the Needle King. So, if you want an Aqua Ring, go right ahead, girl, because I'm gonna hit you with the expanding force. Maybe I Dynamax if you go for a, a no, 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 no. I don't think that's I don't think we Dynamax. We Dynamax Reggie Alecki. I think that's what we do to win. Okay, expanding force, please knock me out. Oh, uh, that's not doing anything. Aqua Ring, respectable play. Very respectable play. I'm just gonna let Gardevoir go down here. I'm just gonna let this girl go down. And uh, basically, she recovers all the health. Recovers a thing. I'm predicting that recover. And I'm gonna go Regieleki. 
recover. You're gonna recover. I'm reading you like a book. I'm like, all right, newspaper. All right, if I looking for jobs real quick. Oh, YouTuber is not one of them. Oh, I knew it. My boys. We Dynamax Renzi Lucky here. That's what we got to do. No, maybe, maybe. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. What Pokemon do we have in the back? We got a Tyrantrum. Okay, we're gonna Dynamax and we're gonna hit the Max Lightning. Then we switch out of here, depending on what he does. If he goes Melmetal, I'm gonna sack off the Gardevoir off. I come in Tyrantrum, I hit the Earthquake. There you go. I think I got this. I got this. I got this. Just don't panic. You gotta play smart. That is the coolest cry I've ever heard. Look, big boy bouncy. All right, Max Lightning should knock this thing out. No, wow, this thing, this girl is bulky. Very, very, very bulky. Very, very bulky. Okay. What are you going to go for? Skull, don't knock me out. It doesn't. Okay. And it didn't burn also. That's <laughs> that's a relief because I got really bad luck with burns. Okay. That Aqua Rink is bowling up very much. All right. We're going to Max Lightning again. Max Lightning. And we got the... We got the... Uh, what is it called the uh, what's the other attack called rising voltage we got the rising voltage which should do even more damage um with the terrain up on the field oh i just gotta win this i just gotta win this that's all that's it if you go dragonite then i instantly win your your best bet to winning this is going melmetal and you do go melmetal okay part of me doesn't want to let uh regieleki go down I gotta stick to my original plan, I think. Gardevoir? Yeah. We're, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch out the big boy Red Yaleki. And then we're gonna go out into Gardevoir and sack this girl off. Hit me? Earthquake. I am okay with that. I am 100% okay with that. Maybe if I, I... I think I would've been okay. I think I would've been okay with staying Red Yaleki in. So now we'll go Tyrantrum. We hit you with the Earthquake. If you go Dragonite, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay. We go Earthquake here. We go Earthquake. That has to be the play. Knock it out. Yes! Okay. Maybe I win this. Now my little mounts to the floor. This battle, I'm actually using my brain meats and it's paying off. It's paying off. Haku comes out. The Dragonite, not heavy duty boots. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, you have to hit me with the dragon type attack. And I'm going to take a chance on that head smash. Please don't dragon dance. If you're adamant nature. I hope it's not adamant. Or modest. I mean, I, actually, I hope it's, a, it's I hope it's adamant and I hope it's modest. Dragon Claw hits me. It's gonna knock us out, right? No! Tyrantrum surprises me. Head smash, knock it out. Woo! We won with the big boy Tyrantrum again. Tyrantrum, you're one of my favorite Pokemon officially. Three minutes in the battle remaining. That's gonna be it for this Wi Fi battle. Felix, that battle was amazing. Amazing. That's all I gotta say about that. So I'm taking your lead card. And. That's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. I thank you guys so much for watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. Leave a like because your boy Tyrantrum came in clutch again. Comment down below your thoughts about the battle. MVP, I don't care anymore. Vote for MVP Tyrantrum. Comment anything you want. Say hi. Hi, guys. Subscribe to my channel, please, for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. That's your boy, Daddy Max, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.